Welcome to One and All. Now, I want to talk about the fake news the mainstream media is pushing about Ethiopia. And when I say the mainstream news, I'm talking about like you see in, in your Fox News in the States. Talking about your Sky News in the UK, your BBC in the UK and some other European news channel. Yeah, and um, yeah, they're, they're pushing some fake news about Ethiopia. Okay, we know that things in Ethiopia in the north is not 100% um, smooth. But it's nothing like what they are pushing. Now, I know somebody who was in Addis Ababa up to last week. And they said they had a beautiful time there. They didn't feel scared. They didn't feel panicky. They didn't feel nervous. And, you know, they said they meet some beautiful people from Addis Ababa. As I said, I'm not saying that in the north. It's 100% smooth, but it's not unlike what the mainstream media is pushing. You know, um, that's why it's good to watch alternative news and make up your own mind. Okay, I got a two minutes video clip of a journalist and he works for Sputnik News Channel. And um, he's based in Washington, D.C. And listen to what he is saying. Because he is saying more or less the opposite to what the mainstream news channel is saying. Okay, here it comes. My name is Bob Schlehuber. I'm from Washington, D.C. I work for Sputnik News. Yeah, I'm in Addis Ababa for the last four days. Uh, it's a beautiful city with beautiful people, and the reports that most Western media are putting out are not accurate. Uh, the Western media, for many reasons, are supporting the TPLF and talking about a security situation in Addis Ababa that's not accurate. Addis Ababa right now is peaceful, with tens of thousands of people coming out to Mescal Square in support of the Ethiopian government, in support of the democratically elected and legitimate government of Ethiopia. Uh, and I've had a, a wonderful stay and met so many wonderful people here uh, while I've been in Addis. I was in Bahadar uh, the last two days. Uh, in Bahadar, it's incredibly uh, desperate and, and extremely bad. There are thousands of people that have fled from Kombolcha, from Desi, um, from as far as Afar. People have walked hundreds of kilometers, um, and right now they don't have uh, access to food. Um, and it's because of the TPLF aggression that have pushed people uh, to leave their homes, to flee their homes. Uh, while I was in Bahadar talking to Amhara people, they told me stories of their houses being looted, of people being kidnapped, people being raped and stolen and taken. Um, and it's quite tragic to hear what the TPLF has done to uh, people of Amhara and Afar the last uh, year. Yeah, it was incredibly peaceful today. It was incredibly uplifting. It was beautiful to see people of Ethiopia united together uh, with the government uh, to support the country and to support one Ethiopia. People of Addis are calling for peace. They're not calling for war. I don't think the people of Addis hate the people of Tigray. I think they want there to be one Ethiopia together. Uh, and what we're reading in the Western media is not true. Uh, reading the New York Times, reading the Washington Post, CNN, BBC, Bloomberg, all of them are pushing lies and falsehoods. Uh, and I've seen so many reporters report from Nairobi, from Kenya, uh, and they're not here in Addis. If you look around in Addis, uh, it is not true and it's not the same of what these people are writing when they're not even here in this country. The international community needs to call on the TPLF to put down their weapons to demobilize, to stop their attack on Amhara, to stop their attack on Afar, 
and the international community needs to get behind the democratically elected Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed uh, and to support the people of Ethiopia and their future.